After you install this mod, you will be able to use FSR3 frame generation as well as DLSS frame generation. Wow. So leave a like and subscribe. Let's do this. Okay. For this, we need DLSS enabler. Download link will be in the description. Now go to your Horizon Zero Dawn installed location. Then open DLSS enabler. Accept and hit next. Next again. For the installation path, go to your Horizon Zero Dawn installation folder and copy this folder path from here. Paste it here and hit next. For NVIDIA users, you only need to use two options. The first option and install OptiScaler as 0.6. For AMD and Intel users, you need to choose the same two options and this enable support for AMD and Intel option and this install.reg file option. After selecting everything, hit next, then install. Go to the game install folder again. AMD and Intel users must run this disable signature checks registry file. If you open the game now, your game will crash when you turn on frame generation. So we have to edit the nvngx file before launching the game. So open the nvngx.ini file in the game folder. Scroll down and find this FG swap option and set it to false. Then you can open the game. In the launcher, you can see now I can turn on DLSS. In frame generation section, you can see I have FSR frame generation and DLSS frame generation. I don't know how it works or if it works properly, but I can turn on DLSS frame generation. When you are in the game, you can press the insert key to get this menu. So choose whatever upscaling option you like and change the rest of the settings as you like. Press the save INI button to save all the changes. The latest DLSS enabler has the newer FSR 3.1.2. In here you can see the game uses an older version of DLSS. In a minute, I will show you how to update it too. And if you choose XESS, it says version 1.2, the older version. Even though DLSS enabler uses the latest XESS version, it doesn't show up here. Let's fix that. In your downloaded files, there is a file called update opti. Extract the file to the game folder and replace it. And for the DLSS update, you can extract the nvngx 3.7.2 file to the game directory too. Now when we open the game again, we can see DLSS 3.7.2 and latest version of Opti as well. And in XESS, we have the latest version 1.3. So that's it. Until next video, adios amigos. What's he doing up there?